हेलो एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम बैक टू हैप्पी चर्प इट्स बीन सिक्स लॉन्ग मंथ्स एंड दैट्स क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम दैट आई हैव बीन हियर बट आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट यू गाइस रिमेंबर्ड क्योंकि गोइंग अवे फॉर सो लॉन्ग आई वाज जस्ट बिगिनिंग टू डाउट लाइक विल पीपल स्टिल बी इंटरेस्टेड इन हैप्पी चर्प टू दे इवन वॉन्ट इट बैक बट इतने लोगों के मुझे रेगुलरली मैसेजेस आते थे कि यू नो वी वॉन्ट यू टू टेक योर टाइम बट वी मिस इट एंड वी वॉन्ट मोर एपिसोड्स एंड वी कॉन्ट वेट फॉर मोर एपिसोड्स एंड दैट वॉज वेरी हार्ड वार्मिंग लास्ट सीजन हमारा ख़त्म हुआ था विद ट्वेंटी फाइव एपिसोड दैट वी डिड सक्सेसफुली अभी मैं बैठ के सोचूँ तो आई कॉन्ट बिलीव के वो भी कर लिया था बिकॉज हैप्पी चर्प स्टार्टड ऑफ क्वाइट स्पॉन्टेनियसली इट वॉज बिकॉज ऑफ माई टीम रियली पुशिंग मी टू डू दिस एंड दे डिड एवरी थिंग एंड दे जस्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ मेड मी सिट एंड सेट यू कैन डू दिस बिकॉज आई फेल लाइक दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज जस्ट नॉट माई फोर्ट ए दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई जस्ट कैन नॉट डू बट बिकॉज ऑफ द पीपल हु बिलीवड इन मी एंड ट्रस्टेड मी हमने इसका पहला सीज़न किया था ऑल्सो आई वॉज प्रेगनेंट एट द टाइम तो आई डेंट नो विद एवरी थिंग एल्स दैट वॉज ऑन माई प्लेट इफ़ इट्स समथिंग आई कैन डू बट बिकॉज ऑफ द सपोर्ट इट वॉज जस्ट मेड सो ईजी फॉर मी एंड आई वॉज एबल टू डू ट्वेंटी फाइव एपिसोड्स इन द लास्ट सीज़न लास्ट सीजन में वीव हैड सम एक्सलेंट कॉन्वर्सेशन आई हैव मेट एंड गॉटन टू नो सम एक्सलेंट पीपल एंड वीव बिल्ट एन ऑडियंस एंड आई हैव कनेक्टेड विद यू गाइज एंड विद सम अमेजिंग वीमेन बिकॉज ऑफ हैविंग दिस प्लेटफॉर्म बिफोर मूविंग ऑन विद द नेक्स्ट सीजन आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू सॉर्ट ऑफ पुट आउट देयर के वट आई हैव इन माइंड फॉर द नेक्स्ट सीजन But more than that, I just want to talk about everything that's been happening in the past six months. Six months is a lot of time, and a lot of hap- has happened. So I'm going to try my best to sort of share everything that I can. एक तो first things first. Uh, let me put it out there. If you're waiting for a guest, <laughs> for me to introduce a guest, there is no guest uh, because. Um, I have decided that I will be inshallah inshallah fingers crossed hope everything goes well I will be putting out two episodes every week the first episode as in uh, the one on Tuesdays will be solo podcast or more commentary style um podcast and the second one will be coming out on Thursdays which will be with the guest so um in one of the episodes it will be just you know you and me and i will be talking to you guys about this or that um i do need some help and ideas with it so i would really like for you guys to put down um in comments ke what would you like me to talk about or what is it that you want to know from me personally from me so um yeah and i will remind you to do that at the end of this podcast as well so now that the formatting is clear uh i also want to share that um with happy chirp my vision with happy chirp is to is not just sort of like having uh, you know successful women or who have done something completely outrageous or out of the norm here but also just to just celebrate all kinds of women and not just celebrate but also to give a voice to women because i'm so sorry um because a lot of the platforms and in a lot of spaces women don't um have voices and they don't get to speak as such right so it's just about like women taking space that's the whole idea behind happy chirp um so yeah we are here at happy chirp where women do the talking and we are here to take our space that we very rightfully deserve um and i just sort of with this podcast um my my only goal is to empower other women and girls which may sound very cliche but in any and every way possible for them to feel that they are part of a um a sisterhood or a community here at happy chirp that they can always turn to that they can maybe find um answers through you know 
So um, that's why I'm here. And that's why all the guests that come here are here. You know, I just used hair a lot. <laughs> but like, you know, you get it. Um, so yeah, that's um, about Happy Chip. So um, talking about what's been going on, let's start with where I left off. Jumeri last podcast thi, um, pehle season ki, that was shot on 1st March. Um, I was in my 38th week. I had just started my 38th week of pregnancy. And um, 1st March ko meri podcast Amtul Baweja ke saath thi. And she was here from Karachi. And even though us time pe meri tabiyat bahut harap thi because I had some... Um, pelvic girdle pain that I was dealing with and it was becoming very difficult but fortunately on that day I was feeling a little better so I decided to do that podcast with Amtul Baweja and I was lucky because she was here from Karachi so um, we did that podcast that day and because I know Amtul and Fahad Jo Patangir made their content creators outside of you know um a professional capacity as well like we've met a bunch of times so they wanted to like go out as well and hang out besides the podcast so us waqt kyunki meri tabiyat itni um thodi like uh kya kehte hain upar niche hi thi and i was like at the end of my pregnancy so i wasn't sure like if he wanted to do that to us waqt to koi plan nahi bana podcast hui khatam hui uh this is my labor story by the way <laughs> just putting it out there it's like happy chirp you know i said ke uh, i'll start from where i left happy chirp off and that is exactly when my labor also started so it was like this you know allah maine kuch aise usko plan kiya so what happened was ke uh khair later we decided ke hum raat ko unse mil lete hain because it had been days since i had done anything gone anywhere i had missed a really good friend's wedding because i had been unwell to main bahut down in the dumps thi ke matlab I'm ill and I'm missing out on stuff and I'm just feeling the worst. I was feeling the worst that I had felt in a really long time. So then I was like, "Hey, yaar, aaj thoda better feel kar hi rahi hu, to might as well, you know, ye log aaye hain hai, to just get away from everything and let's go and meet them and have a good time and like just forget about everything." So we decided ke acha hum unse mil lete hain. They were busy, we were also busy, cheeze thi kaam shaam the. So we ended up meeting them raat ko around like 12 a.m. pe. Um and uh, even though I was like fully pregnant, we were like chalo chalte hain and then we went and sat at like a random bahir chai dhaba type place. Um kyunki lockdown ki wajah se zyada jagah bhi nahi khuli hui thi covid situation ki wajah se aur uh, बाहर ही बस बैठना था सो वी वेंट टू दिस रैंडम चाय टाइप प्लेस बिल्कुल लाइक सड़क पे खैर हम वहाँ गए एंड वी हैड रियली रियली गुड टाइम बातें शाते की बट आई फेल्ट वहाँ पे के लाइक वी शुड गो होम फर्स्टली बिकॉज वैन यू आर लाइक थर्टी एट वीक्स प्रेगनेंट यू वॉन्ट टू गो टू द बाथरूम ऑल द टाइम एंड दैट वॉज नॉट अ प्लेस जहाँ पे शायद बाथरूम अवेलेबल भी नहीं था और अगर अवेलेबल भी होता इट वॉज नॉट वुड नॉट बी वेरी वाइज फॉर मी टू यूज ड्यूरिंग माई प्रेगनेंसी सो लाइक आई वॉज हैविंग गुड टाइम आई वेटेड इट आउट एंड देन आई टोल मुजमिल एंड देन आई वॉज फीलिंग समथिंग आई एज पे यू गाइज द डिटेल पर आई वॉज फीलिंग समथिंग सो आई वॉज लाइक um so i mean i think like we need to go like we should go <laughs> i have to go to the bathroom so like um we had a really good time with them phir hum ghar chale gaye and then when we went home i was um a little unsure if something was happening wasn't happening it wasn't contractions but i just didn't feel like normal or like how i usually felt um and थोड़ी देर बाद एंड एंड द बेबी मूवमेंट्स फॉर फाइन एवरी थिंग वॉज फाइन एंड एन मुजमिल एंड आई लाइक वी हैड सम उसके बाद आने के बाद वी हैड सम क्या कहते हैं कॉन्टेंट रिलेटेड पार्टनरशिप वर्क जो हमने स्टोरीज पे करना था तो हमने वो जल्दी जल्दी किया एंड देन वी गॉड इन टू लाइक टॉकिंग तो मैं मुजमिल बातों में लग गए लाइक वी हैड ऑलरेडी कम बैक आफ्टर द चाई थिंग अराउंड वन थर्टी उसके बाद हमने अपने स्टोरी वाली चीज़ की उसके बाद हम लोगों ने हम लोग पता नहीं बातों में घुस गए फॉर सम रीज़न वी जस्ट फेल्ट लाइक टॉकिंग वी सारी टॉकिंग एंड देन इट वॉज लाइक अराउंड फोर थर्टी वन वी अराउंड फोर थर्टी क्वार्टर टू फाइव एन वी डिसाइड टू गो टू बेड सो वन वी डिसाइड टू गो टू बेड मुझे इस तरह लगा दैट 
the my baby's not really moving and and i since i was already feeling something i got a little afraid so i did everything to sort of make the baby move that you generally do ke acha baby needs to move and um it wasn't happening phir thodi the baad i felt ke uh the baby is doing hiccups uh aapko feel hoti hain hiccups for somebody who doesn't know but like some people can feel their baby having hiccups which was odd for me because i rarely did some people do a lot but i rarely did but this time i did and i was like okay baby's fine baby ko hiccups lag gayi hain and then what happened that i felt a sudden jerky violent movement and then nothing so i really freaked out at this point because like he just stopped moving and i waited it a bit बट मुझे बहुत बैड फीलिंग हो रही थी एट दिस पॉइंट सो अभी तक वी हैडन रियली गॉन टू स्लीप लाइक वी वर जस्ट अबाउट टू स्लीप नाउज एंड मुजमिल लाइक लेट्स गो टू द हॉस्पिटल आई हैव अ रियली बैड फीलिंग दैट रियली ड्राइव टू द हॉस्पिटल वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज आई वॉज वेरी 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 स्केयर्ड बट खैर जब हम वहाँ पहुँचे तो एवरी थिंग सीम्ड फाइन दे डिड द सी टी जी द हार्ट बीट वॉज देयर द बेबी स्टार्ट मूविंग एवरी थिंग वॉज गुड अलहमदिल्ला अल्लाह का शुक्र है ऑल द फीयर्स दर आई हैड वर गॉन बट लाइक दे डिड बट दे सेट के यू नो जो भी फील वाई विल स्टिल डू अ प्रॉपर स्कैन वी वॉन्ट टू लाइक सेंड यू बैक कम्प्लीटली सेटिसफाइड सो एंड ऑल्सो सी टी जी में यू कैन पिक अप इफ देर आर एनी कॉन्ट्रेक्शन सो वन दे डिड द सी टी जी उसमें उनको कॉन्ट्रेक्शन भी नजर आए दैट आई है आई वॉज कॉन्ट्रेक्टिंग सो बेसिकली आई हैड बिन हैविंग वेरी माइल्ड कॉन्ट्रेक्शन फॉर द पास्ट कपल ऑफ डेज सो आई हैड बिन इन अर्ली लेबर बट नॉट एक्टिव लेबर सो दैन उनको सी टी जी में भी कॉन्ट्रेक्शन नजर आए सो दैन दे डिड लाइक अ प्रॉपर स्कैन एंड दे चेक मी आप एंड दे सेट ओ लाइक यू आर डायलेटेड आई थिंक इट वॉज टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स डायलेटेड एंड दे सेट के ओ यू क्वाइ डायलेटेड तो आप ये बताएं कि डी यू लाइक लिव क्लोज बाय और डी यू लिव फार वे लाइक आई लिव क्वाइट क्लोज बाय इट टेक्स मी लाइक ट्वेल्व मिनट्स टू गेट हेयर तो दे वर लाइक के अच्छा चलें फिर ठीक है यू कैन गो होम बिकॉज अ टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर डायलेशन कुड मी दैट यू कुड हैव अ बेबी टू डे और यू कुड हैव बेबी लाइक नेक्स्ट वीक राइट सो दे डेंट वॉन्ट टू कीप मी और देर एंड दे सेट के आप घर चली जाएँ मैं घर चली गई और अभी आप सोचें कि हम सोए भी नहीं हैं बिकॉज हम रात को उस पर चले गए थे फिर वापस हमने बातें शातें की पाँच बजे हम उठ के हॉस्पिटल चले गए और अब सुबह के सात बज रहे थे हम सात बजे वापस आए एंड वी बोथ वी हैड ब्रेकफास्ट बिकॉज वी वर सो हंगरी एंड देन वी फाइनली वेंट टू स्लीप अराउंड एट नाइन थर्टी आई फेल्ट मोर स्टफ आई फेल्ट लाइक आई वॉज इन सम पेन so at 9:30 so after only sleeping for one and a half hour just me mujhe koi pain chain feel ho rahi thi but i was like trying to sleep on it i woke up and um i was like i think i am having my baby so like um i uh, and i felt the contractions so i started timing the contractions just to check ke false labor to nahi hai braxton hicks to nahi hai so i checked and they were and then i also took a shower so like if you take a hot shower um you can sort of tell के अच्छा then if they're fake or false contractions तो वो रुक जाती है वो नहीं रुकी मैंने अपनी contractions time की वो वो they were very regular so then I was like okay like I think I think this is it <laughs> so then I woke मुजमिल up my husband and I said listen like I think it's time um so then like we got ready um हमने चीज़ें रखी तैयारियाँ की आराम से एंड देन वी वेंट टू द हॉस्पिटल एंड वेन वी वेंट टू द हॉस्पिटल तो दे वर लाइक ओ यूर एन एक्टिव लेबर एंड यूर ऑलरेडी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर डायलेटेड नाउ सो यू नीड टू डू यू नीड एन एपीड्यूरल ना इस सेड येस मैंने तो एपीड्यूरल का पहले से कहा था एंड इन माई हॉस्पिटल फोर सेंटीमीटर के बाद दे डोंट गिव यू एन एपीड्यूरल एंड दे वर लाइक के ओके देन यू रियली नीड टू लाइक क्विकली गो बिकॉज यू आर डायलेटिंग सुपर फास्ट खैर वो क्विकली दे टुक मी स्ट्रेट इन टू द लेबर रूम नो अदर रूम एंड स्टार्ट डूइंग एवरी थिंग एंड दे वर जस्ट लाइक ओके ना वी क्विकली नीड एंड एन एस थीसिस टू कम इन एंड गिव यू द 
epidural and by this time like the contractions had become difficult and i was in a lot of pain and uh turns out ke the anesthesist wasn't there and it was going to take him a while and i was very scared <laughs> that he's not going to come back in time and i will be 4 cm dilated and i will have the baby without the epidural and i honestly like i was like i don't think i can do this without the epidural anyway i was like bas allah ki marzi jo bhi hona hai uh eventually he came mujhe epidural laga and it did not work and it's a pehle tak like i wasn't crying i was like dealing with the pain i was fine but when the epidural did not work i started crying because i was like it's not working it's not going to work i'm going to have to deal with the pain usse pehle tak i was dealing with the pain and it was growing but i knew ke acha epidural lag jayega to it's going to get better but suddenly i had lost that hope and then i started crying <laughs> and then they gave me another dose and after they gave me another dose it was like magic the epidural worked like मैजिक फॉर मी मुझे उसके बाद कुछ फील ही नहीं हुआ लाइक नॉट अ टाइनी बिट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्शन जो मुझे उससे पहले इतनी ज़्यादा पेन हो रही थी अलहमदिल्ला खैर दैन दैन दे वर एक्सपेक्टिंग सो आई वेंट इन एट इलेवन थर्टी इन टू द हॉस्पिटल एंड अराउंड टू थर्टी आई गॉट माई एपीड्यूरल एंड दैन दे एक्सपेक्टेड द बेबी टू कम एट 8:30 or 8:45 um but my baby was in a huge hurry <laughs> and like the doctor said i was dilating really fast um rafael was born at 4:45 so i went to the hospital at 11:30 i went into the labor room around uh, at around 12 12:30 i got the epidural around 2 and the baby was out at 4:45 so Overall, my labor was around four and a half hours. So, um, like active labor was around four and a half hours. Um, so yeah, that was um fast. That was alhamdulillah not very difficult, and it was a smooth sail. Um, however, I think it does leave you with some level of trauma. and <laughs> scarring because for a while you're like oh my god i cannot do this again because postpartum me there is like you know you're stitched up down there you're sore you have to look after the baby you're swollen up um so yeah that happened and um and that was the start of my motherhood journey since then so and for the past 6 months i have been trying to um figure that out you know I have been trying to um be a mom. I've been trying to learn how it's done and uh, I've also been trying to get back to work and I just feel alhamdulillah in retrospect um it's been an excellent journey. Um uh, I know I know and like on our podcast we've had this discussion that um how difficult it is for mothers and I'm not going to deny that I have had my fair share of difficulties. I don't think any woman or any mother has it difficult but i do feel like it wasn't as bad as i uh expected it to be for myself i just feel like alamia has been like extremely extremely kind to me um in this regard uh the first two weeks two to three weeks were really tough um i was extremely down mentally i did not like to look myself at myself in the mirror um mujhe apne aap ko matlab and it was a very subconscious thing i remember main bathroom mein jaati thi aur main apni aap se na nazre nahi milati thi sheeshe mein because i was just disgusted <laughs> and i was just not happy with the way that i looked and it was not something that i was consciously thinking but it was there and i realized oh, i don't look myself and i realized this that I stopped looking at myself in the mirror because I don't like what I see. And uh and then I was like, oh no, this is a very dangerous space or place to be in. So I think one of the things that I did that I feel like that made my motherhood easier or like the first part mentally easier um was the fact that was number one I was very mindful of how I was feeling of my emotions. um and my behavior like how am i behaving what am i feeling um and um also um 
I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. So I was mindful. Yeah. So I was mindful of that, how I'm behaving and how I'm feeling. And the other thing I did was that I immediately, and I had like started doing that before the baby as well, to accept things. So I had a very quick acceptance. And I th think the be better you, the quicker you accept, the better your motherhood journey will be. Um, I was very quick to accept that um, I cannot expect myself to look the same, feel the same, be the same, or be the same old person that I was. And I think that really helped because I did not have that expectation from myself, you know. So um, I gave myself that space to change and to accept that my life is going to change, that I am going to change. Um, and life is going to, for me, in a lot of ways, slow down because I, have a very, because I had a very fast-paced life a very, um, I was, I used to work aggressively, you know, so I knew that all of that was going to stop. So I was just, you know, it was me and, uh, and I was at my mom's for the start and my baby and my husband. And I was just um, doing that and trying to recover uh, physically. Uh, mentally, it took three and a half, three weeks, three and a half weeks um, with the baby blues were natural the self-esteem issues the confidence all of that was there, there. Um, but like I recovered I remember her ko, I used to have this feeling in the pit of my stomach it was anxiety ke what the night will bring this time because obviously you're sleep deprived and you don't get to sleep enough and you're obviously afraid ke pata nahi raat ko kya hoga <laughs> and how it's going to go um, so every night I used to feel that. And Muzammil ha was very, very supportive and extremely helpful. But he had a lot of work, like a lot of work that could not wait, you know. Um, so he was trying his best to be there for me. But there were times when he was, he couldn't be available. And just at night, I knew that Muzammil will not be available. At that night, I would be like having tears, you know, rolling down my cheeks. I don't know what's going on at night and how will I do it alone. Um, but I managed and days went by and months went by and now it's been six months. And like it definitely does get better. Um, I do feel that physically I recovered well. And uh, physically, um, I did not find motherhood as tiring so far. I know it's going to get physically tiring now when your baby starts to move around. <laughs> uh, but mentally, I, I feel I didn't feel depressed or sad with the way that my life was or have any resentment or such issues. The one thing that I struggle with the most and I feel I'm struggling with up until now, I think for me that has been the biggest challenge of motherhood um, is the identity crisis. Um, yes, I accepted that I'm not going to be the same person, but figuring out who I am now uh, beyond a mother uh, is something that I am not able to figure out up until so far. Um, and for the first five months, I was very deep into being a mother. Alhamdulillah, I've had a lot of support. Uh, but I would like to say this myself, that I was very into it. And I've been very on top of it, you know. Um, and very deep into it, which is why finding myself um, now as an individual or the person that I am is something that I'm really struggling with. And it really affected my self-esteem and confidence. Like this thing that I'm doing today, I'm sitting here, I'm talking. And to be honest, I did not expect that I would be able to because I felt that I have lost my identity. And moreover, I had such a huge mom brain. I don't know if it happens with the rest of the but I think it happens because some of you um, people on my Instagram said that this happens to them is that I was not able to form complete sentences. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the brain fog, yes, and mom brain, but also the fact that you are so sleep deprived for months on end. Ke aapko ek, aapki, your mind is a mess, to be honest, and you can't formulate one sentence properly. And today I'm just sitting here and talking and I'm honestly, honestly shocked that I'm able to do this because I have not been able to have a conversation with anyone 
and it was so embarrassing for me like i used to feel so embarrassed kyunki i started work around like third fourth month but not properly it was very half cooked main usko apne sath office laati thi sath sath kaam karti thi to wo properly nahi kar rahi thi half cooked maine apna kaam shuru kar diya tha um main office aati thi aur main logon se baat karne ki koshish karti thi and i tried to tell my team what i wanted or the work that needs to be done or anything like if i was having a meeting and i had to convey a point or a message put a message across i could not explain anything and i felt and i used to feel so dumb in front of people all the time because i was like i would just be like main kya bol rahi hu main kya baatein kar rahi hu matlab what am i saying do people even comprehend kyunki mujhe apni samajh nahi aati thi ki mere dimag mein kya hai aur mere muh se kya nikal raha hai kyunki mujhse sentences nahi bante the so major brain fog and because of that further self esteem issues like mujhe to bolna bhi nahi aata you know um phir like i felt like my body changed my face changed then the postpartum hair loss and it was just like um a lot to deal with um and there have been times when i've had like little crying spells in the middle and they say ki jo postpartum depression it can happen to you any time between um the first year so it's not something that you can have immediately so even at this point now it's something that i need to be very mindful of that am i or am i not going into it um and i just feel like a, when i was just doing mom mom i was not as affected but when i try to return to my normal life and the realization that i don't know who i am anymore and i don't know who the new person is and i don't know how to life anymore or i just don't know how to do anything that i used to know how to do before so naturally things that came super naturally to me i don't know how to do anymore um that was difficult or and you know i used to tell my husband as well that if there is anything that's going to give me um depression i think it will be this jo kuch mujhe pehle karna aata tha from little things like making stories on instagram from talking to you guys uh, on stories or like in a mic or talking to anybody you know talking having a conversation about something knowing about the world or life when i try to live a normal life it depressed me because i knew nothing <laughs> about anything besides being a mother you know so in the motherhood aspect i was very happy but whenever i stepped beyond i was scared and i felt like i don't know anything so that extremely extremely affected my self esteem ke mujhe kuch pata hi nahi hai yaar matlab kya <laughs> so so yeah that was just something that um was there and i think uh, one of the reasons that um it took me so long to get back to work as well and do things wasn't just this it was also that i was exclusively pumping which is something that is very very difficult to do and maybe i can talk about in another one of my podcasts with you um it's it's when you are unable to nurse and you have to sort of pump and feed your baby so i wanted to breastfeed my baby i did not want to um give my baby formula not that i have any issues with people who choose to do that but it was just a choice that i made for myself and exclusive pumping is <laughs> one of the hardest things that i have ever ever done in my life anybody who has done exclusive pumping knows that it's very very difficult um and um so yeah that just made motherhood um Uh, not motherhood but that's just what made my life a bit more difficult because I, it made it it meant that i it required a lot more support i needed a lot more support which alhamdulillah i had um so yeah uh, that's how um i have been in <laughs> these 6 months um uh, but you know like again in retrospect with all of that and i'm not just saying this i have been mostly happy and i've had my downs but i have enjoyed motherhood a lot and i i still do and i feel like the only times i feel down and upset or hurt is when i have to be away from him or like you know i have to do all this and have to be away from him 
uh and but you but i know that this is important too and i need to live a life uh beyond all of that so when i had to you know uh find help for him and uh leave him to do these podcasts or do my work it would just hurt uh but like i've gotten better at that as well so it's just been a journey and to be honest i'm still in that journey i'm not here and i'm saying like i've figured it all out how to do this and how to do baby and um you know uh maine to sab kar liya hai but i'm still in that journey and i'm still trying and i this is just the first episode and to be honest i don't know how it's going to go right um but um let's see how this goes uh so just wanted to come here and let you in on my life uh and what's been happening and uh uh you know every week i'm going to come and talk about something with you guys so like i said please leave suggestions in the comments below of what you would like to know from me sometimes maybe i can just do q and a's where you guys can leave questions and i could just answer them and we could um you know talk about those things that you like i just really really wanted to have a more interactive or a more intimate relationship with my audience over here which is why i decided to have one episode with you guys on happy chair but yeah thank you so much there is a lot of other stuff that has been happening in my life as well but to be honest i've been speaking for a while and i could only cover like the main stuff uh but inshallah i'll be talking to you guys a lot more so i'll be sharing tidbits here and there everything with you guys thank you so much for tuning into this episode um i absolutely am super excited to be back and i hope that you um stay with me and i hope that you love what we bring on happy chirp this time so thank you and allah hafiz <laughs>